Dr. Oculus, PD and myself were very kindly invited to Soul Assembly Studios on August the 4th to try a new and exciting upcoming Quest 2 VR game. PD sent me the itinerary for the day ahead and my eyes were immediately drawn to the speciality cupcakes and something called Disc Golf, which I could only presume was perhaps a Tron-like experience where I would most definitely be the first to be de-rezzed. After around an hour and a half of travel, we made it to our destination, the beautiful town of Royal Leamington Spa. This is the car park we parked in, and this is the exact space should you wish to recreate our journey. We had a little time, so PD decided to do the intro to his video here, which I promptly messed up for him straight away. Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the I channel. Doing it. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing it. I'm back on it. Well, I'll come out your way, right, do it now. <laughs> Making my way to the studio, PD's ploy was to dupe me into thinking no one I'd heard of was going to be in attendance. We arrived at the building and after taking the elevator to the wrong floor, we bumped into Eyes on VR and we all rode the elevator to the wrong floor yet again. Trying to gain entry to Pixel Toys, one of the devs found us nooming around on the stairs and escorted us to the Soul Assembly studio. Upon entry, I used my detective skills, akin to Jessica Fletcher, to ascertain that this game is definitely zombie orientated. Well, there is a cardboard cutout of said zombie to the left, but more on that later. My first surprise was Mike of VR Oasis in the room. It's no secret I've been a huge fan of Mike's for years. Turning in shock, I saw PD hysterically laughing. I'd been set up. Touché PD. Touché. No sooner had I made a beeline for the speciality cupcakes, the door opened before me and in stepped... Honestly, I thought I was going to pass out. There were now several content creators in my near vicinity. Cherry from Kaz and Cherry walk in front of me. Carlos from Distrito Metaverso, who you can see giving the peace sign to PD. And Mike, who stops to give PD a wave. Let's pause here. To the back on the left is Eyes on VR, who we recently got lost in the building with. Talking to Darby, the young lady stroking her hair, is Mac in VR, who incidentally gives the best hugs. And at the far back is Dr. Oculus, who is recording using his new DJI gimbal. Finally, you can see Kaz, of Kaz and Cherry. Oh, and Nacy. Wait, what? How did I not realize that she was also coming? Exhibit A is a Twitter post from Nacy, dated the day before, August the 3rd, pronouncing, Good day, UK. I thought nothing of it. Perhaps she's on a well-deserved holiday in good old Blighty. I even like the post. Whilst Paradise Decay handed out limited edition signed physical CDs of his new album AI, which is available on Bandcamp, you can clearly see Exhibit B, which Nacy is holding in her hand. But first we need to go back to the car park whence we first landed. Dr. Oculus makes cool mini 3D printed models of himself and likes to give them out at special meetups and events. Whilst in the car park, he handed me a mini Dr. Oculus, the same one I took a picture of here, mingling with the staff's Warhammer figures. Also in his magic white model bag, I pulled out a mini Nacy equipped with her own Beat Saber. I remarked that this mini Nacy model looked exactly like Nacy, and proceeded to put her back in the magic white bag, totally oblivious. Still, I never even suspected that she would be at the event. Hashtag pro sleuth. And here's me with my eyes closed. While PD checked my YouTube channel out on his phone, he reminded me to make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and have clicked the little bell icon. <laughs> Dr. Oculus and myself excitedly proceeded to install Drop Dead the Cabin. I was the first to be called to somewhere called the Purple Room by Ryan. He was totally unaware he was about to be joined in game by the original hashtag pro gamer himself. It's now time to check out alpha footage of the gameplay I tried. This was still very much early testing. Will I be hailed as a new Tron in disc golf? Stay tuned to find out in the further adventures of PD Tricked Me Today.
Wow. Yeah, probably glasses. Uh... Well, that's not that bad. Oh, I see. You just dropped it into that pouch, yeah. Where was the gun, did you say? Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. True classic never goes out of style. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can see there's like things. <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can use I've got a super gun somewhere. Let's come right now. It's pretty foggy out. We don't have a clear location yet. Keep that beacon powered up there. Can you open the... So the ducky, the ducky thing, can you open? Oh, I turn it off. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Ah, I get it. Oh wow, this is so cool. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh wow, it's like a milk car. That's cool. It won't take long for that to happen, dude. I'm telling you now. Oh, that cool. Enough. Sweet. That was really cool. <laughs> um, I've got 63.
new ones. get any worse is it just a two-player co-op or yeah yeah I mean things like horde mode and stuff like that's always popular I love like Gears of War 2 you're supposed to play that for years mate playing horde mode on that so, we're going for a game two. Uh, same deal, you host the game, I'll join. Yep. This is so cool. Sorry, I'm just uh, skipping the things here. Yeah, that's what I did, yeah. I like the music. Yeah, it's really atmospheric. It's giving me a bit of goosebumps. As long as, oh, oh, as long as I try and beat PD. <laughs> as long as I can try and beat uh, Paradise Decay. Probably not, but. Right there. Oh, oh yeah, see you there, dude. <laughs> yep. I've got it, mate, I've got it. You know, I mean, even like for, for newcomers, like, do you have teleportation on it as well? I mean, I'm not. Some, I mean, some depends. Sometimes it depends what day it is. Sometimes I get a bit of sickness. Sometimes I don't. But with this, I'm not getting any nothing at all. So um, I can be a bit crappy with motion sickness. So yeah, but it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what it kind of reminds me of? You ever, you ever been to like Alton Towers, things like that? It's kind of, kind of got that like Alton Towers. Haunted house kind of vibe thing. Oh, um, do you want me to pick up the gun again? Because I'm yes. so bad. Right, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I do. I think um, I'm that bad. I need to blast. Big time. <laughs> I like how you can just grab it so you ain't got to bend down to pick it up, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, can you... Oh, there's it upstairs as well. Yeah, can go upstairs. We'll go upstairs. We'll actually 
I like how you can look through the gaps and you can see it all outside. Good. Oh, it's an axe. Oh, sweet. <laughs> all right, I'm ready with the axe. Oh. 
Where'd this auto-mine like go? I just popped this head clean up and flew up in here and then dropped right down. So what's the duck thing to Oh, you have, to, you have to pay things to open it, right? Yeah, I guess. Is it all I dropped? Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's in, it's in my there. I got it. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, yeah, I can't do it We are not. Oh, yeah. Oh, I run into a dead end, dude. It gets hard when it gets black and white. Man, that was cool. Cool. Just sh shot me straight to the face. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> that was cool, dude. After we successfully escaped the cabin, I caught a glimpse of my fellow content creators hard at it in game. Here's Dr. Oculus with his Wooja Ghost Brrrr vest on. Through the windows you can see PD has come extra prepared with gun adapters for his touch controllers. Mike has a 3 pick montage and shows his zombie pro skills by holding his controllers, how I probably should have during my game. And here's Nacy, who very cutely is wearing a name tag for anyone who doesn't know who she is. Walking back through the studio, I caught a glimpse of Mac in VR fighting the zombie horde. As we all took some well-earned refreshments, I thought the time was now perfect for me to take a well-deserved speciality cupcake. However, my plan was thwarted by the sudden explosion of photographic opportunities. There were several of us taking shots, and here's a slightly blurred photograph by myself featuring Mac in VR giving the peace sign. Nacy and Kaz and Chari. Remember how I mentioned the zombie to the left at the beginning of this video? Here it is on the floor after PD knocked it over. You can clearly see eyes on VR asking, who brought this guy? Also Nacy is the only one looking at me. This is my favourite photograph of the day. Mac in VR can be seen showcasing his peace sign. Carlos is giving a roar and his fingers of approval. It's such a great shot full of VR's finest and me. But 2022's Soul Assembly Best Facial Expression Award goes to... <laughs> Dr. Oculus. I then took the opportunity to sneak around and catch the attendees unaware to sign my Bobo VR C2 carrying case, which they all very kindly obliged. It was now time for a Q&A session about what we had played with the Soul Assembly team. However, I feared I was the only one who noticed Mike had been swapped out by Madame Two Swords. You better not be filling that bag with my cupcakes. After V1 
feasting on Domino's Pizza, other pizza outlets are available, we all jumped into several taxis and headed off for the eagerly anticipated disc golf session here. We were attempting the smaller course of the two, and that was challenging enough. When we all arrived, we chose our disc. Here you can see me handing Mike his, and making the joke that it's VR Oasis Blue, which made Mike laugh. Either that or I mentioned how many YouTube subscribers I had. I then bizarrely thought that flipping said disc in my hand would make me look cool and that I knew what I was doing. After I mysteriously ended up in Mike's group, we set to task on the disc golf course. The rules are pretty simple. If this is a par 4, you have to throw the disc in the basket shown here in the least amount of throws, or make it in 4 throws for the par, much the same as golf. I don't even know if that statement makes any sense whatsoever. The basket is covered with chains that catch said disc should you get it in there. It then nestles in the basket below. Congratulations, you did it. To give you an example, here's the basket. And those with keen eyes will have noticed my disc here. I appear to have got the trajectory slightly off as it shoots straight out the atmosphere to orbit the Earth. Here's a slow-mo action video of PD showing you how the VR tubers get the job done. Not only does he release a VR related video every day, he can also play disc golf with the handicap of a crushed empty can of Diet Coke in one hand. Other soft drinks are available. After I completed the disc golf course, let's just say we're all winners today, we headed back to the studio where I thought now would be the perfect time to sample a speciality cupcake. However, Darby appeared and gave me this really cool box as a gift. So I'll open it now for the first time, live on camera. Okay, it's time for the unboxing. As you can see, my IRL name is round about there. I know you're not supposed to give it out in the Oasis, but here you go. So we have a beautiful box. Drop dead the cabin. Inside, I have a lovely postcard. I have to be really, really careful because I've got it on its side like a noob. Just trying to show you guys, so. Oh, I have a beautiful spooky candle and kind of a little cauldron thing. That's pretty nice. Uh oh, I have sweeties. I must hide these from Jessica. Lovely sweeties. Oh. Well, let's move the bird's nest out the way. Oh, wow. Oof, oof. I don't want to smash anything. This is really cool. It looks like... I want to grab this book. Wow, it weighs a ton. You guys see this? It's like the... Pneumonic... The... The... Uh, the pneumonic... Oh, court. <laughs> it's like the book from Evil Dead. <laughs> I'm going to open it up just to show you a little bit. Wow, this is so cool. So I could scribe all things inside there. That's a very pretty book. That's beautiful. Thank you. And here we have a mug with some potions. Dead man's fingers. That's quite sweet. Try not to drop anything. Oh, a nice little torch when I'm in the cabin. dark chocolate this is amazing thank you very much darby for putting all this together beast did this dance drop dead the cabin t-shirt that's fantastic and there we have my amazing unboxing that's probably all out of focus <laughs> So there you have it guys, that is the cabin.
and I had a fantastic day. Just want to say a special thanks to Paradise K, who totally did me. I had no idea what was coming, what was happening, who was going to turn up. Dr. Oculus, big thanks, he's a great guy. Mac in VR. Mike, who's genuinely one of the nicest people I've ever met. It was really was a fantastic day. Nacy, Kaz and Cherry. I can just keep reeling off all these VR amazing people. Just want to give a special thanks to Darby for organising all this and letting me come to play. Everything that happened in this video is true. Nothing's made up, nothing's fabricated. I did see a little mini Nacy, things like that. Maybe the Madame Swords bit with Mike is made up, but <laughs> far from that, everything else is what happened. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's a brilliant game. I had great fun. Even if I didn't escape the cabin and people got way, way, way further than what I did, I loved it. So thank you very much for showing me around. Until next time. Damn, I forgot the speciality cupcakes.